Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the CSR NET December 2024. All of you know that the result of this examination is declared and in this lecture we will analyze its cutoff, their consequences, their analysis and moreover the most important is I will give you the advice how you can clear the examinations at the end of this video. You can watch till the end of this session. First of all, you are the star as you all know the result of this CSIR net December 2024 declare. First of all, I will give you the many many congratulations to all those students who have qualified this examination in either of the category. Category is belongs to the life science, it may be of the mathematical sciences students and many more. Many congratulations to all of you and love you all. Definitely your dedicated hard work that you have do did in your last three to six months you will pay you. Now the question arises is how you can check your results. A very simple there are the two ways. The first one is you can open the website www.csirhrdg else you can type the csirhrdg on the google. I will show you with the, with the live experiment how you can open that. You can write the csirhrdg on the google. The very first link appear you can click on that. Once you can open this website you can scroll down the below and you can see there are two announcements. One is CSI net cutoff and second is CSI net results declare. But before I can show you how you can open that, do you know how many participant or how many students participate in this examinations with your, with your branch? You can see this is the public notification. Those examinations occurring on the 29th, 28th, 1st March and the 2nd March. You can see in the mathematical science category, in the mathematical science category, you can see how many, you can see in the mathematical category, how many students have appeared 30,562 out of 43,446 students are registered and for 30,000 appear in the examination. Similarly, for the life science students, 48,396 students are registered for the exams while 37,532 students appeared for the examination. Similarly, for the life science students, chemical science students, 52,000 students are registered for the examinations while 39,000 students appeared for the examinations. So in the conclusion, you can see more than 2,38,000 students registered for the CSRNet December 2024 examinations while 1,074,000 students are appear in the examinations. Out of these quantity who those who have appeared in the examinations, what is the percentage of the students who have qualified the exams and how many percentage are disqualified the exams. So let's discuss this in the detail. Now how you can do that? You can simply click on either of the link. Let me show you again how you can click on that. If I if you want to see the cutoff marks, I can click on the cutoff marks. You can see the minimum cutoff marks required for qualifying in each of the category. Category 1 is related to the junior research fellowship name as the GRF. Second category is related to the assistant professor and the third category is only related to the PhD admissions only. Now if you look about this category, look at that the first category is related to the category GRF. This all the informations are given in terms of the percentage. Look at that the first one is 59 percentage. In case of the mathematics students, they are the 50.25. How you can know what is the marks obtained? You, if, if your marks is of the 200, fine. Then can you calculate the percentage marks? So that will be 59 multiplied by 200 divided by, so that will be my 118. So that means you needed 118 marks to qualify as a junior research fellowship. Same for the mathematical science students. How you can calculate the number is a percentage. So I can change into so it will be twice. So that is a 100.50. So under the unreserved category. So you need a 100.5 marks in order to qualify the junior research fellowship category. Similarly for EVS category you need the 87 marks. While in case of the OBC, you can multiply this number by 2. Similarly for the SC, SC and the PWD category. 
Similarly, under the category of the junior research fellowship, you can see un under, under the category of the assistant professors, you can see that for the mathematics, it's a 45.225. You can multiply this number by two. If your examination is the 200 marks, then you can see it is my 90.45. You need a 90.45 marks to qualify for the assistant professor examination. Similarly, for the PW category, you need the 50 marks in order to qualify for the assistant professor category two. While for the PhD admission, you can see you need a 73 marks for the mathematics, while 85 marks for the chemical science students. Similarly, 50 marks for the PWD category, while 66 marks for the OBC and so on. And similarly for the other percentage. So this is the way you can convert the percentage into the marks and check whether you fall under the same category or not. You can also see the description is that as per the website of the CSNet, there is no separate cutoff list available for the part A, part B and part C sections while the cumulative marks are taken and which are drawn based on this percentage. And the date of the examination result is 30th April 2025. That is a just one day before this video, the result is declared. Ranks are also allocated based on the successful candidates and it will be shown on your online portal very soon. The minimum marks is the 33 percentage for the journal, EVS and the OBC category, while the 25 percentage for the SC in all these categories. If you feel any discrepancy, you can always mention the information bulletin as the final consideration. You can see also, it is given that the CSIR HRD is not responsible for any error that can be crept in the result while publishing of the website. Second case, if you want to see the result, you can click on the result and under this category, you can see all those category wise results available. For example, this is a category one for the assistant professors, junior research fellowships, and you can scroll down your result these are the total two, four, five, three candidates are appeared, are qualified for this examinations. Similarly, you can control an app. For example, I can randomly search for the roll number. You can see it appears. That means, yes, they, he or she has qualified the examination. Similarly, you can search along the each category, UGC, Net, GRF, and so on. These all are the category you can see under this and under this, based on your roll number, you can check your answer, uh, result under this category. So you can see it's a 129 pages and you can find it all in the single platform. Now, the most important question arises here is what will happen to all? First of all, I wish you the Excel in your bright future in terms of joining as a PhD program or joining as the assistant professor or joining as the GRF position in any of the project formations. So best of luck students and let me know in the comment box how many of you have qualified with the with your rank mentions. Also whether my old videos which I uploaded so far related to the mathematics are helpful for you or not. Now let's talk to all those students who have missed to qualify the examinations. I always suggest to you don't be disappointed. Always remember don't be disappointed. Always remember my one line that don't take stress. Why? Because remember this beautiful line, Vakt lagega, but sambal jaunga. Vakt lagega, but sambal jaunga, thokar se gira hoon, apni nazaro se nahi. Always remember this very positive line in your mind. It will take a time, but definitely you will recover. You have fallen because of the stumble, but not from your own eyes. Always remember this very, very positive line in your life. Now try to find the reason why it happens, why you are not qualifying the exam. There are so many reasons. Few of them are, you are unable to manage the time in the examinations. You are not able to understand the questions in the examinations. You may take one or two point, one or two marks less than of the cutoff, or it may be possible that you have taken less practice before the examinations, or it may be possible that you have some personal problems at your home during the last week of the examinations or from the one or two weeks earlier in the examinations. And the last but not the least, you may have the very less basic concepts. For that, I must say, I must say,
try to learn whatever the mistake you have did in your last examinations but the most important thing is try to learn what you achieved in this period what what you have achieved in the last 6 month definitely you learned many many new things in the last 6 month taken always in the positive men it may possible that you are not expert in the linear algebra but in the last 6 month after watching my videos you are expert or you are trying to solve the problems of the linear algebra very well so that's why i'm asking you try to learn what you achieve in this period and based on that you can try to do more efforts for the next times and do more pro practice problems so that you can qualify the exam in a very very simple manner one of the most important advice given by me to every of my students fine always follow the unique way of strategy fine what you have do most of the time students has follow more than one instructor don't mix with a different tutors way to attempt the questions for example if i say i have solved the one question this is my way i can solve the question in a different way while the same question is solved by the other tutor in a different manner but you are trying to copy both the solutions and at the end of the day you are confusing in the examinations which approach you will be solved in the examinations i advise don't mix them why because the different tutor have their own way to explain and solve the problem but make sure you have to follow the one directions for example if i say you are following my videos try to follow all those my videos only fine and try to solve all those questions whether you have taken from any of the net any of the book or any of the resources try to solve the same question with my approach and then you will be realize that you will have increase your confidence level generally kya hota hai ki aap approach teen char tarah se ek sath ikatthi kar lete ho jisse kya hota hai aap exam mein samajh hi nahi pa rahe kis approach se solve kare because of the lack of practice fine try to focus only on the one way and solve the question by using the same way don't mix up with the too many tutors to solve the problem that's why i this is the advice i always give you follow only the one tutor in your life at the end i must say the one thing to all of you muskura kar milna zindagi mein agar kahin mile to because you all of have qualified the net examinations or those who have not qualified the examinations but remember this my beautiful lines whenever we will meet in the coming years coming days try to met me with a smile kahin aisa na ho hum kahin pehchana aur aap kahin nahi to because you have qualify your net examinations kahin aisa na ho hum kahin pehchana aur aap kahin nahi to if you met me somewhere in the life met me with a smile it should not be happen that if i say you can recognize me and you say don't so please don't do that always be humble always be the positive for more detail you can follow my youtube channels and dr harish kar you can subscribe it congratulations once of once again for all of you good luck for the next future years be positive always best of luck students i hope you can share this video with your friends and let me know in the comment box have you qualified your net examinations with which rank best of luck students and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thanks for the watching happy luck